Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. So today I thought that I would do just like a really nice, long, chatty, talk through makeup application-y video. So I thought I'd start off by talking about what I put on my face before this. I started off with the Ordinary Hyaluronic Acid 2% plus B5 and the Ordinary Iridesium brand and I am really liking their stuff at the moment. I found out about it I think because of Fleur. Fleur told my friend Lucy, who told my friend Alex, who told me that this stuff is amazing. I really like that. I've used quite a lot of that one. I actually have two of these backed up and I've bought so much more from them. There's gonna be a whole blog post coming very soon, if not already by the time you see this. I'm very handsy today. You're gonna to have to deal with that. And then I put the Aven um, hydrating serum over the top just because my skin was really lacking moisture today. I did not drink enough yesterday. I drank a million cups of tea and a Fanta, like a giant Fanta from Nando's and one glass of water. I was bad. I'm definitely not doing the same again today. And then I had the new La Roche-Posay Effect Le Duo SPF 30 correcting anti-UV, anti-marks, that kind of shiz and I've been testing it out. Don't have like a firm opinion on it yet because it's only been a couple of weeks but it's not breaking me out which is that is my one thing that I really don't want any product to do ever. So it's past the first mark. So I'm going to continue using it and testing it out. And I mixed it in with the By Terry Terribly Donsleece Sun Glow Serum. Also on my hair, I just used my straighteners to give it a bit of a wave. It's actually really long at the moment. I went and had a haircut and I had it dyed. I love the colour, but um, I kind of wish I'd gone and had a lot cut off. I'm kind of at this phase where I just want to have no hair. Does anyone else get that? I sometimes go through it and sometimes I love long hair. And right now I just want it to be like here. What do you guys think? Let me know. I can't tell if I'm just going through a phase or it's an actual thing that I want. So I'm gonna sit on it for a couple of weeks, but I'd love to know your thoughts on whether you think that I should do it. Everyone is gonna say yes, because everyone wants to see me with short hair, because loads of you weren't around when I actually did have short hair. But anyway, I used the Sasha Joan Ocean Mist on this, and I basically spray this over like my whole head after I've curled it at the moment, and it makes it look so good. It just turns white precise curls into like amazing messy curls but the hair doesn't look too dry. I really like how this makes my hair look. It's so cool. Love it a lot. Heads up I'm going to be loving a lot of things in this video because that is literally what this video is pretty much about. I just I don't want to talk about things that I'm not liking. I just want to talk about the things that I'm using every single day. So that is what we're doing. So this makeup bag is um, one of Zoe's newest ones. It says fairest of them all on the front and then it's just like polka dotty and I love it. It's exactly what I've been looking for. I was needing a new makeup bag. It's actually half the size of my normal makeup bags. So it really inspired me to downsize my daily makeup bag because it was getting a bit out of hand. This when I downsized it was not this full but I recently picked up a few things from the declutter video, which you will have seen earlier this week, hopefully. I picked some things out and I was like, oh, I'm gonna try that and put that back in my makeup bag. So for foundation, I use either one of these two or both or whatever. I try not to use both all the time. I just find I don't want to overload my skin with a ton of product at the moment, unless I'm going out or I'm doing like photos or working, obviously. Um, I try not to put too much makeup on my face. It's one of the reasons why I really like not working on the weekends because it's like a nice fresh start for your skin. But I'm really loving this. This is the Dr. Jar Waterfuse BB Cream. And 10 points to you if you were around when I originally discovered this because that was like 2013. When I discovered this BB Cream, I think I had 10,000 subscribers. So whenever someone says they remember when I discovered this, I'm like, you were one of the 10,000, which is actually still a lot of people. I switched the camera angle around a bit because I wanted my aloe vera plant to be in this. And also that plant was so small when I first got it. It's the first plant I've ever kept alive in 25 years. So the reason that I apply this before I apply this is because the YSL Touche Claire can sometimes break me out, but I love this so much that it is worth it. And to apply this, I'm gonna use the Sephora Pro Airbrush Foundation Brush. This is number 55. Lots of you always ask which brush this is when you see it in cutaways. I love this, I actually have two. That's how much I love it. I just pop a little bit onto the top. Sometimes I use a beauty blender after. I can't say that to say beauty blender, but I'm not using my beauty blender today because I can't be bothered to go and wet it. And that is probably the laziest thing I'll say today, but. I am a little bit lazy sometimes. And I've just used a couple of pumps and this is actually quite a light application. Sometimes I use like two and a bit pumps. They're quite small pumps, but this is quite a light coverage that I'm going for today. But even when you use just a couple of pumps, it doesn't look heavy at all or like too dewy or too glowy, but it has like such good coverage. I am such a fan of this. What's next? I need concealer. So I've been using a few different concealers recently, actually. This is one of them. It's by Giorgio Armani. It's the Compact Cream Concealer, and I'm using shade four. And this is quite high coverage. It's quite hard to work with, which is why I'm not like, oh my God, this is freaking amazing. But I don't really think I'm gonna use that today. I'm not really 
I'm not feeling it. I think I'm going to use my NARS matte concealer. What one? What's this called again? Soft matte concealer. And I have the shade creme brulee. I really, really like this. It's perfect for my under eyes. And then I also use it on spots sometimes as well. But it's not as good on spots as it is on your under eyes. I've also been using or trying when I say using, I, I kind of use it and then huff it and then go back to this. I've also been trying the Glossier concealer, but don't think it's right for my skin. But yeah, I don't think the Glossier one is like, has enough coverage for me, whereas this is like, perfect. I'm being really slapdash with this if you're wondering what the hell is going on on my face. So this is a Sephora brush and it's just a little bit like softer, so I don't find it dragging my under eyes as much. And this is the Pro Airbrush Concealer Brush, number 57. And I just really like the way my under eyes look when I use that. And then I'm just gonna pop a little bit over my spots and pop a bit under my nose as well, and then a bit here, because I get really red here. Weird. And then I'm just gonna blend that in using my finger. And then I'm just going back over all of that concealer with my foundation brush. Oh, I know what I'm gonna use, actually. I love this. I picked this back out of my um, drawer when I was doing my makeup declutter. This is the Studio Perfecting Stick by MAC in the shade NC30, and it's so creamy and it's amazing on spots. So I'm just gonna pop that over a couple of the ones I have. I like that a lot. I don't use it enough, hence why it's gone back in my makeup bag. Next, I'm gonna be using this cream eyeshadow by the Estee Edit. They do these really cool little like duo pot things. They're very similar to the Tom Ford packaging that they had for a lot of their summer collections, which I really like. But it's basically this loose powder on the bottom, which I don't think I'm gonna use today. And then they have like a matte creamy eyeshadow on top in this really pretty color. And uh, this is the shade 07 Light Speed. And I basically just take a little bit of my finger and then just lightly work that in to my eyelid. And it's really neutral. It's literally like my skin's color, but it just means I don't get any like creasing from my concealer and it just evens out my eyelids. I'm gonna sort out my red water lines. After I do concealer and foundation, I can always really see how red my water lines are. So I'm just using the Urban Decay 24 hour, 24 seven, 24 seven waterline eye pencil in the shape Walk of Shame. There we go. That is one of those things that is totally life changing. And once you start lining your waterline and correcting the redness, you cannot go back. It makes your eyes look so much bigger and brighter and I love it. I'm gonna do my brows now. I don't know why, I like to do my brows before I do the rest of my eye makeup. Cause it kind of dictates what I'm doing if I go heavier or softer. And I'm using the Clinique Fine Liner for Brows, which I've just <laughs> swiped all over my brow bone. I've gone back to using this recently because it's quite quick. And I find that I can make my brows look a little bit more natural than with the Benefit gel I was using. It's also quite nice because it's a little bit softer and I'm currently not growing out my brows, but I'm just letting them be for a bit. And just, even if I've got like random bits around here, I'm just letting them be a little bit more natural rather than so perfectly plucked and tweaked all the time. So now I'm using the L'Oreal Brow Artist Plumper, of course. I don't remember a time now where or not I used anything else. And I really like using this now, especially now I'm going for like a more softly filled in brow. I just find that it looks, I can make them look quite like nice and fluffy and full and they're not too perfect. And I kind of like that look. I can't decide whether I want to do liquid liner today or not. I feel like, yeah! And part of me is like, oh, can we be bothered? We always do liquid liner. Maybe we should find something new. Maybe I'll go without. Because my lip colour is really fun at the moment. I'm loving this. I think a few of you have asked where this is from. And this is a new one from Illamasqua. anti matter Lipstick in the shade Binary. And it's such a cool, bright, corally colour. I just absolutely love it. I opened up the uh, package that they sent me with that. And I was like, yes. Picked up two palettes. First one being the Tonya Burr. Peachy Glow Palette. And I've also picked up this. This is one that I'm still testing out. It's gonna come up in a best and worst new launches video with whatever my thoughts are at some point. And I just picked this up because I like these matte shades and I think I'm gonna do something with those. I'm gonna use this Urban Decay Angled Eyeliner Brush. I'm just gonna use Black Truffle first, which is the uh, black shade. And I've been trying to get my hands on that palette for ages. I'm really glad I finally did. So I'm just adding a little bit of that black to my upper lash line. And then I'm gonna go over it and soften it. I've been doing this a lot recently on days that I don't want to wear full on eyeliner. I quite like it. Now I'm taking a Zoeva Luxe pencil brush and I'm gonna use, I think this warm color here called Henna and I'm gonna smush that into the black. Smush, why do I use the word smush? That's so not a professional makeup term. Anything with doing this is it takes so much time. I could do liquid liner way quicker than this. I'm gonna blend that out and up towards my crease. Okay, I've done my other eye as well. Um, unfortunately, you didn't get to see that because I have a new camera and it's like 
glitching out on me a little bit and it's really annoying. But anyway, I'm gonna put my blush on now and I'm using the Tanya Burr Peachy Glow Palette. Really like this, like the bronzer in it. Like the blush, like the highlight, just like the whole palette. It's just like the perfect bronzy colour. So I just sweep that through my cheekbones. I, go qu I come quite far down. I find that that's really flattering on my face shape. And then I sweep that up through my temples and along the top of my forehead. I basically like to make myself look a little bit sun-kissed. I'm just going to dust a little bit over my nose as well. And then I'm applying the peachy shade and then the highlight as well. And I do this all with the same brush because I... I'm so lazy and I just like a one brush kind of look. Now we're going to put the mascara on. I've been using a new mascara. This is the Tarte Lights Camera Flashes. So normally I use Lights Camera Lashes, which looks like this. It's like it's big sister. Um, they're quite different, I think. This is more like lengthening, not volumizing. And at first I wasn't sure, but more recently I've been like, yeah, I really like this. So that is mascara done. I'm gonna leave my f lower lashes, I was gonna say my false lashes, my lower lashes bare, because I just think it looks a lot more springy and fresh. So I'm gonna be using the Illamasqua lipstick I was talking about earlier. I really like not using a lip liner with this. It looks better if it looks more fresh because this is such like a springy, summery, effortless color. I love this. If you're looking for something like this, but that's a bit more pinky, Max Tropic Tonic is actually quite similar. It's one of my favorite, favorite, favorite MAC lipsticks, but um, yeah, this is a bit more on the orangey, peachy side. It's a little bit lighter. So that is my current kind of makeup routine. Some days there's liquid liner, some days there's not. I thought some of you would like a change and not seeing the liquid liner. But yeah, that's pretty much it. There's like other products that I swap in and out, of course, but um, that's like the bulk of my daily makeup routine for spring at the moment, and I'm really enjoying it. I hope you enjoyed this little chatty tutorial. I've never really done a chatty makeup tutorial before to this extent and I love watching them so I thought that I would do one and let me know if you want more longer chatty videos because I'm so up for that. But yeah I hope you all enjoyed this video if you have any video requests or any kind of topics you'd like to see then let me know in the comments and I hope you are all having a lovely day don't forget to let me know if you think I should chop all my hair off I would love to know um and yeah I will see you guys again in my next video if you want to watch more videos they will be up here if you want to subscribe there'll be a button here I love you all lots and I'll see you again soon